is coming into workshop A. Uh, my name is Nick Mansley. I'm a Features Editor of Print Week. Uh, I'd like to say welcome to Print Week Live, and in particular, welcome to this workshop. Douglas Gibson is Managing Director of Infigo Software, as I'm sure you're aware. Uh, today, he's going to be explaining how you can use the clever e-commerce systems that his company produces to speed the throughput, smooth the throughput, uh, increase your application, and generally strengthen your business. So, hi guys, thank you very much for your time. Um, my name is Douglas Gibson, for those who don't know me, um, I run a business called Infigo Software. Um, we're a software development company um, based um, just outside of London near Gatwick. Um, I've been in the industry now for um, just over 20 years um, with a multitude of experience from um, spending a number of years at Xerox in application um, special, um, specialist areas such as variable data, um, many years at EFI working on their workflow products and also their server technologies um, and started in Figo Software in 2010 um, driven from um, pure frustration um, and I can gladly say it hasn't gone away as yet. I'm still still frustrated, but for you guys that are here today, um, I believe that's actually a good thing. Um, and that frustration is born out of um, driving new technologies, new ideas, and really helping you guys compete on different levels within, within the marketplace. And it's probably even more so apparent um, with um, some of the big boys really coming up that are, are available today um, in the trade print sector. Um, and compete with different technologies. So please feel free to ask any questions. I think we're going to leave that till the end. Um, my slot should um, run for about 20 minutes. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it and thank you very much for your time. So what I'd like to talk today, um, I was recently um, spent a week out in um, the, the States at um, DScoop, um, the HP user conference. and. What, what, what the, there's a big discussion around is how can we take our thoughts, how can we take our ideas and how can we develop them. Um, having run um, web to print now for over 10 years, um, I want to take that sort of very roundy, very physical um, thought of web to print as a business card, as a stock ordering system and take you on a slightly different journey. Look at what it's doing in the marketplace that we're involved with in every day. Look at how it's taking businesses, adding profitability, adding in new innovative ideas. Come up with ways to make the customer journey a lot slicker, a lot more professional, but most importantly, help and keep those customers happy. We'll, we'll be all here, um, printers dying, printers dead, and um, to be honest, I'm absolutely sick of the, 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 the whole sort of sentiment and comment. Um, there's no way print is going anywhere. Um, and that isn't ever so um, obvious with the new technologies, the new applications, the new machines that are being bought, the digital, the wide format, printing on textiles, all of the new um, things that are coming out every day high-speed inkjet devices. There's lots of different things that are, are driving and um, print forward. And that is can even be seen in different ways that we are working in um, the print sector today. Print is sexy, print is fun. It's been used in much, much more applications. It's turning into a product. We're going from a very driven services organization into a product. We're delivering things that weren't possible before, that can be sold instantly, that can be paid online, that can be delivered very quickly within three or four days. But we're delivering a product that is trying to keep it from being commoditized. Even in the digital world, is loved by print. Um, we we uh, uh, and Figo are a, a Google accredited partner for digital marketing, and we were given and three different printed direct mail pieces from some of the largest organizations in the world. Google, Microsoft. These guys are using direct mail, they're using these technologies to reach out to customers. Packaging, packaging and label industries. We were demonstrating last week how the use of digital packaging, the use of digital labeling, whether it be the Flexo, cartoon printing, um, 
can actually drive new ideas, new thoughts. They're allowing um, brands to deliver opportunity within store that weren't possible 12, 18 months ago. Consumers are expecting an on-demand experience now. Everybody from my wife to my grand to my mum, they're buying things online. People are going online. So we have to make sure that our ideas, our thoughts, the things that we're delivering, how we're presenting our businesses, our applications and our products are measured and delivered online in a, a, in a same way. People are expecting these um, experiences to be fluid, they're expecting them to be simple, and they're expecting them to be delivered in a very beautiful way. And <clears throat> I mentioned a couple of times the huge different applications growth. I'm amazed every day how many different things that we're getting involved with. It mo is moving far beyond just the traditional um, web to print and print e-commerce space. If we look at some of the um, developments in the, in the industry and seeing how things move forward, there was um, a couple of scenarios that were put forward um, earlier um, in the month about the, what the uptake of software and technologies in the UK, that 50% of the um, printers in the UK have a web to print solution of some sort. 50% of those printers have gone out, they've invested, They've taken their um, ideas and their thoughts and they've gone online. What does that mean? It could be a stock ordering system. It could be that they've put a greeting cards product online. It could be they've partnered up with a retailer to deliver a photo gifting solution. There's many different things. But the surprising thing that still only 10% of that 50% are driving revenue through those um, products and services. There's a huge opportunity there to drive that forward. It's an evolving marketplace. And now it's time to not just think about the traditional way that we do things. Try to think outside of the box. How can we engage with our customers? What are the technologies that we can use? Are there different technologies that we can bring together to deliver a single application? We've all seen this image posted everywhere. And what the amazing thing is that they started this, this wasn't personalization, this was a simple ability to take a number of labels printed in huge, huge quantities, admittedly, on a digital format and delivered out to the marketplace. Well, who would have believed that it would have increased sales by 2%? For, for Coca-Cola, it's massive. And we're seeing a huge trend in the marketplace of this productization of these products. I absolutely get a buzz and excitement when I look at these different things. Kit Kat recently, um, in Figo ourselves, we've been involved in a business in Pennsylvania. Hershey's Chocolates came to us and said, um, I was at Standard Drooper, and these guys, oh, he was mad as a hat on this chat, and he said, oh, look, I've got this idea. I'd like to engrave um, boxes and glasses and um, mugs um, in store in Hershey's and I want to engrave it live and I'm like I want to sell this as an attraction and then I saw this guy was like oh well, okay we'll see how that goes for you and, he, and he, he disappeared and then three or four minutes later he's come back with all this product um, boxes of mugs boxes of um, plastic drinking cups tins and he said right you need to come with me and he marched me over to the HP stand where um, he was working with um, the guys at Motion Cutter that have got this very fancy um, engraving device. And he says, right, I need your software to work there. And I need it to work there in the next 14 days. If you can do, if you can do that, I've got a lot of money to spend with your business. Um, and thankfully, I had my CTO with me at the time because, as we all know, as typical salespeople, yes is the first answer. The next answer is what was the question. Um, um, we had a discussion and not only did they want to deliver this um, application um, in Pennsylvania and in 14 days, and I'm not joking by 14 days, we had to, we went back to the office, we started designing the technology, this was all being delivered on iPads in store, um, we had to um, integrate with a motion cutter device. And this is what I talk about what we're looking today. 
if you look at the different technologies, it's about bringing these things together. It's not looking at these things in isolation. It's looking at them that these different technologies that can be brought together that can add value to the whole proposition. And that's the thing that spends your time over the next day or so, is looking at the different technologies. And Figo ourselves will be showcasing on how we work with these different par partners, how we interface, why we interface, what is the benefit to you guys. So please come along um, and, and discuss that. So where did we end up after taking on this crazy task of delivering this product in 14 days and um, being a lot, um, a lot stressed, uh, through a lot of stress and um, a lot of interesting discussions within the office? Well, we delivered it on the, I think it was a Saturday. We went live on the Sunday and within something like around less than a week, we delivered over 5,000 um, engraved products. The crazy thing is, these, these products are sitting on the shelf and they're charging an extra five bucks just to put that on there. And what's, what's really interesting about the story is not the point about the personalization, not the point that this is a cool application. This guy had the thought process. He is a traditional sweetie manufacturer. He's seen declining sales and long run sweetie manufacturers. He's a fulfillment business. But he took an idea, he linked different options, different um, things together, he brought that together in a solution. We're now going to see the solution delivered out into six of the largest Hershey stores in America. And that's from just one guy's idea. If we look at where the phone is today, photographs, everybody, wherever you go, are taking photographs. Half, probably more than half of our applications are looking at photo technologies and what they can deliver. How we can produce those. How do we finish them? How do we bring it together? How do we take a product, once it's been printed, and make it engaging for the audience? How do we bring people back to these brands, rather than just printing this off, delivering it, and it leaving us? We're looking at ways that we can bring web to print and other technology into the gifting industry. And we started off many years ago with very simple applications, black and white and color, overprinting. We went to full color. We went to high one full color. We're looking at all these different things. And web to print is going on that journey at the moment. No longer is it just something that should sit on the shelf and something that you should have in your armory. Web to print is something that you should look at as part of your number one proposal, your presentation to your clients. You should look at it in partnership with your other suppliers and how you can link those different technologies together and deliver a very powerful solution. I guarantee if you think about those things, you look at those things, you'll be in the top 10% of the printer businesses within the UK. Because we all talk about it, but we never go out when we're talking within a prospect and actually push and promote the benefit of the wider solution. I'm amazed by that today. All these guys have invested in one system, two systems, three systems, and they come to me and say, right, I need a new system. I say, guys, you don't need a new system. You need to look at what you've got, how you're using it, how it's interfacing your business, what people are trained on it. Do you have technology guys internally that can, that can train and deliver these solutions? You guys have some wonderful ideas, but how do we take them from here and deliver them out to your customers? How do we realize the investment of that million pound Xerox or that million pound HP? How do we realize that through technology? We need to be able to make sure that we are clear on that journey out to our customers because the guys that wrap that together and an elegant package that can deliver it, that understand it, will be successful. I was very um, pleased to go and visit a customer quite recently um, that's taking thousands and thousands tens of thousands of orders and everybody will go oh they're just the big guys that's what they're doing well a lot of these guys start with very small acorns very small ideas but they've taken the risk they've taken the technology they've wrapped it together they've maybe got a developer they've got a css or if they haven't got that knowledge they've partnered with the right people to deliver that 
but it's about the proposition, about the technology, about the application. Joining those dots together. Don't just go and think about finishing or digital printing or web to print or MIS. How does that all fit together within the business? How can you take that proposition and really wow your customer? What does that mean to a customer? What, we talk about an MIS system, we talk about a web to print, we talk about a new finishing bit of kit, but what is the actual benefit? Not to your business, but to your customers. Is it innovation? Is it faster? Is it better pricing? More profitability to you guys? It's about thinking about that proposition and what's delivered back. And I truly believe with the technology that we have um, available with us today and the things that I have available in my armory for my technical team our limitation is, that is only about imagination really if we come up with the ideas we can deliver them if we work together in partnership with different people work with people that have the strength the ideas and can bring that together don't be afraid to partner with people hide your idea because I think if you hide your idea, the worry that somebody's going to steal it, the reality is it'll never become an idea, you won't take it anywhere, and you won't get it to market. Share it out there. Make it a compelling proposition that you want that other people want to work with you. We are working at the moment with um, a company called Documobi. I don't know how many, um, how many people understand this technology, but it's an amazing technology. This is an amazing, fantastic example of how we're taking a digital technology, embedding it within a printed product, and bringing it alive. And everybody I speak to, and even myself, I've always been one of these skeptics, pearls and URL person like, what does it mean? What, what is the, I'm always about the benefit. Well, how can we drive that back to the customer? And until recently, I, I was almost a skeptic of some of this technology. But what this does, this technology here is a great example. It's, it's taking a printed product and giving it a longer shelf life. It's taking a printed product and giving it information, digital information. Who's clicked on it? When has it been clicked on? What's tracked? Who were they? Where were they? What age were they? That wasn't available many, many years ago. That is something that you guys have got to start to understand because it's still very new, but it's something that's going to be coming in, knocking on our doors. Brands are going to be asking for this. Your customers are going to be asking for this. But I'll put it around in a different way. Why don't you take some of these concepts to your customers rather than knock on the door and it becomes a proposal? Because if you're the one taking it to your customers, they're the ones that want to be working with you rather than it landing in an RFP many, many months later. And there's a little quote here. Print is not dead, nor is it diving. It's just evolving in more ways and more quickly than the printing industry could ever anticipate. And there's never a better time to start and build your partnership with your suppliers and your technology partners. A little bit about our product and, and how we fit into this world. As mentioned a couple of times, it's not just about web to print. There's far more. There's better ways to service this community. A photo gifting solution, an online ordering solution, live pricing delivered directly to your web to print system from your MIS system. There's technology ways that we are looking at building our business, integrating our business, working with some of the best of breed partners in the printing industry to give you guys the best tools to go to your customers and offer the best services and applications. One of my mantras when I started this business was I was frustrated. Frustrated with the technology available, frustrated with the understanding of some of the manufacturers that I was working with about the delivery of some of these products. You guys for many years, probably 10, 15 years of wanting to take these products and take them into your customers. But sometimes you lack the support, the understanding from some of the manufacturers, some of the technology companies to take that to your business. I recently purchased a marketing company. 
And everybody in my office sat down and looked at me and said, this guy is absolutely mad. I'm mad anyway, by the way, but they were looking at me, why is this guy purchased a marketing company? And so I went by and said, guys, just hold on, just wait and see how this pans out. So a number of months later, if we start integrating the business, I get a call from a customer. The customer goes, look, I've got this idea, I've had it for two years, and I haven't been able to take it to market because the guy on the SEO, the guy in the paid advertising, is gonna rip me off. I've got my developer that wants to do this, my SEO guy wants to do this, and another chap that wants to do this. And I was all, funny enough, I can now provide you with a proposition that looks at measurable results, that looks at SEO, that links in the SEO with the technology, and delivers that under one umbrella. Because then, the only one that has to deliver the guy that has to then be slapped on the cheek if it doesn't work or the shake of the hand when it does work is one, one business. And that's just ways that I'm looking to innovate my technology and offer different services to my customers. We've got to think about making it beautiful. Spend the time, look at the user journeys. Have a play with the system. Don't just get it out there. Does it look good? Does a customer use it? Will a customer use it? Is it simple? Would your different people in your family understand it? We need to think about these things when we're delivering technology and solutions into, into the business. We have to make sure that whatever the solution that we're delivering, however we deliver it, whether it be an iPhone, whether it be an iPad, or whether it be on a desktop device, that we make a great first impression. We impress our customers not just in what we're delivering, but our knowledge, how we deliver it to our customers, and our ongoing support. And we make sure, and that all goes back to my point around the proposition. What is your proposition? How are you gonna deliver that? 90% of consumers first interact with a brand online. We are becoming those brands. with the view of looking at improving that user journey, that interaction, we've delivered a 3D preview, taking typical products, flat paper products, making them interactive, adding different finishing touches, adding interaction with third party utilities, making that user journey exciting. Mobile. Mobile accounts now for over 50% of all, all user traffic. Mobile is the fastest growing way that a consumer, a customer, somebody that wants to buy from you is gonna find you. Just a quick hands up, how many of your sites are mobile responsive? Hands up. How many would say it's a good user experience? These are the things that we've got to start thinking about. This is how people are going to find us, how people are going to communicate with us. We're building our technologies, not just our website, but our editing tools, full functionality to make sure that we can interact with these consumers. Facebook saw a revenue switch with an increase of over 80% from mobile devices. They're the people that are going to be buying from us, our ideas, our thoughts. Come and have a look on our stand on some of the stuff that we're looking at about interaction and bringing the digital and um, printed worlds together. How we're looking at different technologies and making that a reality by partnership. I've discussed these, I'm a true believer one of my other things that we set up this business is when I walk and interact with customers and probably engage with over 500 plus printers over the number of years, probably many more, and there's still so many ways that we can improve our internal processes. It doesn't, yes, the important stuff is the fancy things on, on the front. Actually, the important stuff is also how do we get a job into the business? How much time do we spend re-estimating the job? 
how much time do we spend re-keying information from the MIS, the account system? How do we start and bring these technologies together to really add value to our internal business, which goes out and, and delivers to our customers? The important thing when we talk about all of these things is a plan. I talk about a proposition, but you need a plan to get to that proposition. And what I mean by that is you need to look at all of the things that you want to deliver and make that journey, that interaction with your customer, with your internal team. Make sure they know they're fit, what technologies you have, that they're trained up, that they can quickly react when a customer says, yes, I want to take this forward. Pro proper planning, getting it right first time. Promoting the benefits internally. I don't know how many systems that I get purchased where I sit down with a customer and we get the guys in, everybody's fired up, the MD's there, yeah, got a new bit of software, woo! We're gonna launch our business, it's gonna be the next big thing. And then I've got the IT guys, the developers. I wasn't involved in the decision. It's not why I've got I've already got system. I'm quite happy with that one. Make sure that you engage with your employees. Make sure that they're part of the selling process and they're bought in about what you're delivering. You will find a much, much quicker uptake and a bigger success of what you're looking to deliver. And just to finish on, um, as a word from, from our client, just to put a few things into perspective, um, we started business around three employees, we now have 40 probably nearly 50 employees. We're still a small company in the UK um, that reached out to a few Americans at an exhibition stand one day and came across the largest university um, in the US. Just been nominated as the number one technology university in the US. And they said to us, oh, we quite like your solution. We've been looking for nine months. I'm like, oh God, <laughs> this is interesting. But they, they didn't just buy into our product. They bought into our business, they bought into our people, and they bought into our passion. We don't always get things right. Some of our customers hate us 80% of the time, and they, they, they'll love us at 20% of their time. But those customers that love us 20% of the time outweigh the 80%. I'd love to make it 80, 20 the other way, but that's just the evolution of a software business. But these guys were, proud to work with us, not just because of our product, but of our people. And they're coming to us, asking us now, how can we help them? What are the new ideas? And we'd like to do the same with you guys um, that are listening today. So I'll thank you very much for your time. Come and be inspired, speak to my people, speak to myself. Um, I'm happy to share my ideas and thoughts or listen to your ideas and really see how we can make a difference within your business and within your customers. Thank you very much for your time.